Good afternoon and welcome to the channel, all you stubborn people out there. We are going to be doing a little adventure today. If y'all notice, I got my boy Ryan here next to me from Full Throttle Hog. You can find a link right there. Go follow him. Go check him out. He's a lot of fun and a good American. Anyway, you look at America, baby. Anyhow, Ryan took me through the Superstition Mountains in his home too long ago and showed me some amazing riding. Superstition Mountain, coming at you. And now he has come to visit me at the K River Campground and I get to show him kind of my backyard. So the K River Campground here in Southeast Moyers, Oklahoma. It's Southeast Oklahoma, Moyers, Oklahoma. It's kind of mountainous, but small mountains. They're, you would probably call them hills from California. But by the technical definition of mountains, we are mountains. I think, in fact, we claim the title for the smallest mountain in, the, in America. Really? Yeah, I think we're the closest to the cutoff for mountain and just making it over. But I mean, that's our claim to fame, I think, around here. I like it. <laughs> so while we do have ATV trails and trails you could even take a Jeep on at the K River Campground, it's not a lot of land. Our trails are very technical. And frankly, some of them I couldn't even get this Jeep through if I wanted to. Really? Yeah, right. there, there's some difficult stuff up there that's really, you got to be pretty modded out or you got to have like a side by side or something like that to get through some of it. But where I'm taking you today is another area I own a little piece of land and it's a private community. Okay, you cannot just come up here and go into this area, but it is a place for myself and my friends to go and unwind. And it's the Kaimichi Wilderness, it basically butts right up to my campground. And it's like over 10,000 acres of land, all privately owned. You see right back here, look at, let me show you all. That's the guard shack, okay? You are now entering the wilderness and this is private property. But the nice thing about this property is everybody who owns land here has roads cut across their land and everybody accesses all the land. So there's like over 120 miles of off-roading and trails, but it's not like an ATV park. You gotta respect people because as you can see right here, people are indeed living up here. So this is someone's home and someone's property that you're on. So you know, you gotta be respectful and I'll bring friends up here and we'll come have a good time, but it's not something you can just access as the public. I wanna make that very clear right from the start. Now that we got that behind us, I'm gonna bring you out to a little piece that I own up here, show you one of the rides I enjoy. Let's do it. All right, it's gonna be wet. We'll have probably a couple creek crossings, but I think we'll be able to make it. So this used to be my buddy's cabin down here and the lot next to it was for sale. I don't know if it still is, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little foggy. We might not have the best uh, view today, but it's pretty good for Oklahoma. So you can see it just drops off right here. I don't know if y'all can tell how far down it is. I mean, that's probably a 40 foot tree right there laying down and it ain't even close to the bottom of the hill way down there. We're up here pretty good. It's pretty far for Oklahoma, huh? I like it. I love high view locations like that. That is something that is impressive to me. And I, I also love like, see all these brown rocks when they get old, they turn into those moss rocks. Come check them out. They're some of the most beautiful stones. It makes you feel like you're in like uh, The Hobbit or some kind of crazy movie. They turn into these moss rocks, which just naturally grow moss on them all the time. And I'm filled up with them down at the Cape River Campground too. We got a ton of them. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like the local stone here. It's our big thing. Let's go deeper into the wilderness. I got that upgraded King suspension. Okay, we're good. So we should be good. So this is how we manage water down here. You see <laughs> that little mark there will tell you how many feet the water is so you know if you can cross it or not. So this here is our fire department. So we have our own fire department to kind of help when people get back here if there's a problem. I try to donate to it every year and support them. I love my red line family. But that's our helipad. In case something happens, we can get you out of here by helicopter. Important. It's important. important. Especially when you get back here and start getting wild, man. Things can happen in a hurry. But that's not what we're here to do today. No. No. <laughs> that's a hard no. That's a hard no. We had enough of that yesterday. That's true. If y'all didn't see the video, here's a sneak peek. <laughs> he says totally doable. <laughs> and if you want to see the whole video, you click the link right there. So the question is, can I make it across this creek? And I think I can. I'm not really sure. I'm going to give it a shot. 
Send it? Oh, we're going full send. Let's go. All right. I don't know how strong it is. I don't know if it'll sweep us away. You know, crossing currents like this is probably one of the most dangerous things you can do. And it looks like it goes shallow down over there. Though. It does a little bit. So if for some reason you start losing and you turn into that, yeah. into that shallow. Yeah, you can get up on that. Now let's go four wheel drive for this. Okay, man, I think uh, the best option is just full send. Uh, it's pretty deep. All right, let's go. It's deep. It's, it's deeper than I it's thought. Deep. Oh man, throttle. Throttle, baby. It's deep. <laughs> this is what I love. No problem. This, my friends, is one of my favorite spots to come and chill. That looks amazing. Look at that. Yeah, you can see the fog coming up off of it. I don't know if it comes through on the camera as well. But so this is my land here. From this, all this creek side here, all the way down around that corner, up that mountain there. That's my land up here where wow. we hang out. And that is our Oklahoma zip line. Last time this happened, it didn't turn out so good for yours truly. Pretty dope spot, right? It really is. I hope y'all are enjoying kind of checking out my backyard. I'm certainly enjoying sharing it with you, homie. Yeah, buddy. Thank um, you. I'm going to take you to one of my next favorite places in this entire area to go and chill. It's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to go there. It'll be about another three miles off road to get there. Love it. Let's go. Welcome to Pappy Kirk Lake. Roll Ryan, what's the first thing you just said? Oh, the amount of bass that are just hanging out <laughs> right now. I would be fishing here every single day. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lake. And it's just tucked up here in the, uh, in the Kaimichi Mountains, man, back here. Right now, we're probably about 15 miles in uh, from where the K River Campground is, my camp in Moyers. And now you know why I love my Jeep so much, why I have to have this Jeep, <laughs> why it means so much to me, because not only does it do work around the campground, but it brings me to all these beautiful places. And the big balloon tires, they come in handy when it comes to all the rocks. You can let the air out of them, they work as like an added suspension. Makes a big difference in terrain like this. Yes, sir. I love it on an overcast, dewy day like this. It's oh, just this a perfect day to get out. Oh, we're gonna have to get some still photography going here. So you'll have to make it over to Ryan's. He's a much better photographer than I am. Make it over to his Instagram, check it out. Where are they gonna get those pictures? Full underscore throttle underscore hog and also full throttle hog on YouTube. As I was telling you all, this is all private land. It's all owned by individuals, myself included. I've actually bought and sold quite a few lots up here. People come by the campground and then come up and look at their property and end up buying it so that they have personal access. I don't want to be mistaken. I want to be triple, quadruple clear. Just because you stay at my campground does not give you access to all of these trails. But if you're looking at buying a piece of property up here, you're welcome to stay at my campground and then purchase. I'm not the only one selling land up here. There's a lot of people up here. This is one group, Southeast Oklahoma Land Company. And you can see they've bought a bunch and tracked it up at the different tracks. The prices are actually pretty reasonable. And then to have access to such a wonderful community full of people who really enjoy ATVing, off-roading, nature, hunting, fishing. Having a place like this to go and do it is just amazing. There's a lot of people from Dallas have been moving up here and buying land because of all the ATVing and everything. And that, my friends, has driven everybody's property value up quite a bit. Some of it has actual power lines. Some of it has absolutely no power at all, 100% off the grid. That was awesome. Look at your window. Well, you can see through it good with the camera. Hey, that's that's good times right there. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Cool that it's just, you know, right out my back door. That's what I love. Well, Ryan, you're here for a couple more days. I am. So I think we have to have a motorcycle adventure next. That would be fantastic. Most excellent. So y'all, if you're new to my channel, yeah, we had some Jeep off-road content today. This is just a window inside my life. It's Adam Sandoval on YouTube. And if you're interested at all in following along, and getting some great adventures and ideas and reviews, off-road motorcycles, camping, all the above, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. I genuinely appreciate it. Y'all let me know what kind of content is it that you like best. Let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of, kind of interested. Do you like it when I just take you along for my day? Do you like it when it's travel motorcycle? Do you like it when it's off-road? Do you like it when it's all the characters at the campground? I throw a lot of different stuff at you. I'd like to have some feedback. So thank you all for joining me and my boy Ryan. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Y'all get out there and stay stubborn.